even I'm not even in the invite list. <laughs> you're what? You are <laughs> what? You are what? in the photo? Do the thing that we're supposed to be going to tonight. It's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> there's fucking space in the photo. In the photo oh, and wait, not wait. Been invited. Is this what we're starting on? This is what, <laughs> no, this is what we're starting on. <laughs> this is what we're starting on. And you can show that to your camera, Paul. We, right, just to give context before you do this. Lugs, who is coming on this podcast in 2022 because we're doing a Beach Bar Stories Part 2. Oh, that will um, be fun. And it's going to be called The Beach Bar, The Good, Bad and The Ugly. Uh, <laughs> Said to me, uh, we're going to his, he, it's his happy, happy birthday, Lugs, by the way. Happy 30th, my Happy 30th, Lugs. Happy birthday. Bastard. Uh, <laughs> we're also joined, guest co host today, uh, someone that helped me make two podcasts previously, which we'll get into as we go on in this episode. 30th episode. We've just, you know, we've randomly started because we found something funny. So we're going to Lugs' 30th tonight, right? And there's like a, a group on Facebook. And Scott, who's not been invited, <laughs> is literally in the photo. Is in the photo. Show that to the camera, please. Literally in the photo. But does, does he hate you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is he just showing you what you can't have? Like, oh, you could be having fun with that. Did you call him ears instead of ones? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, take my. Oh, my goodness. Get the 30th episode. <laughs> How the hell have we managed to make it to 30 episodes? Well, well, I'm on it and I'm a bad omen. This, this, is, this is true. This is true. This is a true statement. Scott was the producer of the first podcast that Rambling we ever on. did, Rambling On. I designed, on. The, I designed the, the logo and that. And that designed the logo, made it copyright free by his own means. Um, how, far, how bad does that sound? Is it Rambling, Rambling On, is it? Fucking watch them. Yeah, <laughs> I, to it, but I can't remember the bloody name. Uh, so that was like an audio only one. We also did the lock in, which we didn't hear, and we had a our first episode because we're creative. It was to see who could buy the shittiest USB mic, which totally backfired on us because we could never get anyone sounding correct on the levels. But then you won. Yeah, because you bought the shit. It's, it's, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Um, I'm just gonna move this. Sorry. There we go. I'm not used to sitting up with you. I'm usually. Yeah, you're usually yeah. here. Yeah. Anyway, you know, we'll overcome and adapt and stuff yeah. like that. I'm not drinking a cup of piss, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, there's a crash in the mic. There we go. Everything reminds me of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we did two podcasts before, and let's just say the. Uh, <laughs> the wheels fell off. That affair. No, it was a, crashed and burnt. It just it just episodes. slowly died, and it just didn't come back. So you being here means we only have four episodes of the northeast corner <laughs> to record before we inevitably <laughs> stop doing it. No, we'll rebrand. <laughs> we'll rebrand and come back to you in two years time. Stop doing it. No, no, I'm oh. just I'm joking. We've came oh. more prepared this time. Yeah, Don't play with my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing was actually filmed off of a laptop mic. Yes. Yeah, because I, <laughs> this is how bad rambling on was, right? It was it was good. It was good. But it wasn't well prepared. My mic stand was the box that I got the mic in that I cut a hole in <laughs> to place the mic on a table in my room. A folded table, I think, is up it is up on that bar, which you cannot see if you're a viewer, but deal with it. Um uh, <laughs> they're gonna come around they? yeah. <laughs> so they're gonna, something at the a, a week, a week, a week from now, I'm like, what the hell are you doing here? It's like I've seen that episode. <laughs> I want to see your old mic stand, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Scott had been, this was filmed and well recorded because we didn't have cameras and that at the time. Um, in my room, uh, Scott was at the other side of my room with like a like a little bench thing with the laptop on yeah and then someone <laughs> this was the best part about it if you were a guest and we had a couple on you had to bring your own mic <laughs> like some oh. kind of budget and bring your own <laughs> bottle of it <laughs> cheese and wine cheese and wine this is all oh. legal by the way cheese and wine has been brought, brought the wine mad dog technically wine yep a Force kiwi wine. i don't know Ki- does yeah, that go Ki- with cheese Ki- is that close enough it just should do it with a nice sharp smoked Cheddar, yes. So we have cheese and wine, so we're all sorted on that front. Well, our banter is the cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we oh, are... the cheese! We, <laughs> double films. The first episode we did on the second one, because we were like, right, we're, we failed first time, but we will not 
failed the second and then we did uh, we did a review on one of the worst films of all time but it's so bad that it's good you'll like this one Paul it's actually on Netflix if you want to watch this at some point after we go over what it is I pay for Netflix but I never ever watch it yeah, Nicolas never... Cage is in it but I'm sold okay well here <laughs> we go uh, Scott if you want to bring the photo up it's in the film that the made photo. us hysterical. We can't show that to the camera because we might get copyrighted. Yeah, but this is true. This is true. I thought he was going to rumble because he's got his tag in No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> right, so left behind, we were just talking about before ah. we started the podcast. It was just, this film was great because of this photo. Oh, that's what it was in. It was mental, bit, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, it's it's also clearly photoshopped. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that so, to give context to this photo, it's a family photo of Nicolas Cage and the family in the film. <laughs> and bloody hair as we are. <laughs> <laughs> Lack of, but many. <laughs> <laughs> Left Behind is a film where Nicolas Cage is like a scumbag pilot cheating on his wife, right? And then the rapture happens mid-flight. See, I'm selling you on this oh, more already. Well, and well, that's in, going to be a hard conversation in, with a message yeah. in the cockpit again. And then <laughs> he then realises during the rapture in this flight that he hasn't landed. They haven't thought, oh, we might as well land this plane because the rapture's happening. They just keep going to the next airport and they end up on a highway or something. It's very confusing. Uh, keeps bringing this photo out to look at with dramatic music at really inappropriate times and it's really, really hilarious. And I don't think they've meant to do it as like for a comedic effect, which makes it even more funny. And the photo was clearly photoshopped of him and his family, and which was begging us the question, why not just get the actors together and take a legit photo or something? I think maybe none of them liked Nicholas Cage. Well, perhaps. Maybe he stunk. Point, maybe he stunk. <laughs> maybe he just... We um, also thought that maybe the, the, the whole budget had went on getting Nicholas Cage, so corners uh, were cut in every other aspect. He was film. utterly passionate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what a... <laughs> No, one of my favourite terrible films is not Napoleon Dynamite oh amazing film I don't See, think that's, that's a terrible a, film that's, oh, there's an element of genius about it oh, a massive element of genius about it eat the food <laughs> <laughs> Tira <laughs> Tira there's a llama is it an alpaca alpaca oh us and alpacas you know sitting here no. now is she can throw a marmalade sandwich oh. right around a corner like a boomerang. <laughs> Get away from my alpacas. Boom. Marmalade sandwich to the ear. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Yeah. She's in Wyman and Vilts. So yes, you know, it was fine. There was a secret <laughs> Santa. We're having a quiz after. It's all good. Um, uh, I never thought, like, I never thought, because me and you have been meaning to do a podcast for ages. Obviously, we we're doing that now. Mm. But in terms of beforehand, when we were doing Rambling on the lock and that, and then after all that, when we would have Beach Bar Tuesdays, when it was us three, Sun and you still get them sunglasses, huh? <laughs> Tuesday glasses. <laughs> you were the designated <laughs> driver, and then we'd end up going for lunch. Um, like a certain game. Yes, which we'll cut. Um, yes, we're, 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 we're one, say the word. We're one I episode. We're one episode away from talking about that. No, two. Two episodes, Sesh Class 2021, we already discussed this. This is yeah. when we'll talk about this. Oh, my Christmas jumper arrived. Oh, I do. I, I literally put it in the chat. Yeah, I was saying, oh, hopefully my Christmas jumper arrives for the sesh cast. And it did. And I, shit you not, the dog was giving it the big one at the door <laughs> thinking it's for him. It wasn't. <laughs> it was the postie. Eh? We Angela. Love her. And, um, I, my jumper arrived and it wasn't the, well, I was going to go for the more vulgar, I suppose, word. See you next Tuesday. Yeah. Word. But no, I just went for Christmas. Horizontal shuffle. Can I say wanker? <laughs> <laughs> you have now. <laughs> the alone horizontal shuffle. <laughs> solo. <laughs> the solo horizontal <laughs> shuffle. Like some of the times we had in the Peugeot. It was a Peugeot oh, you had Peugeot at the time. Six, yeah. Peugeot, yes. the, the car fart machine. Yeah. Yes. Car farts. Alpaca yeah. days out. Yeah. How many gearboxes? Uh, it only actually went. It only had the one gearbox. It was two clutches. That's time. Two timing belts. I don't care how much time that car spent in the mechanics, actually. How many miles went on it, sir? I bought it at 24,000 and I sell it at about 55,000. Oh. oh, to be fair, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's, that's not, not too, too bad, bad at all. No. It lasted about Mind two you. weeks after the sell it. But <laughs> that's besides the oh, point. It was used to being ragged to the bone. Ragged bone man, hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome anytime. It is. 
But like, that was a Tuesday machine, that. that uh, <laughs> SX04 the MFZ. <laughs> and I still have the keys. Oh. Yes, I still have the keys because I sell it to my brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it died, and then when he got rid of it, I got my keys back for that. So I've, I've actually got the keys up in the wall for the, my, my Peugeot. There's like a bit of memorabilia. Yeah. Because this like, car doesn't exist now, right? It's been scrapped. No, it's like a wee scrap <laughs> box now. It got put away at the scrappies. Okay. Big scrappies in the sky. We're playing with the Volvo now. <sighs> I've still got the keys to the Volvo. <laughs> Should we just throw all the keys in the middle of, like, these are things that have gave us happiness throughout yes. our life? There is nine miles per gallon and 280 horsepower. 147 miles an hour of on a closed road of happiness, fear. Oh, smells a bit funny. There's a roundabout <laughs> on a closed course, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the arc. Yeah. <laughs> cheese and wine. It was cheese and wine. wine. Cheese and wine was available. <laughs> it never so. happened. <laughs> and even if it did happen, all the guidance was adhered to. Uh, yeah, yes. But it didn't, so. Yes. On a no. close, right, it was a business meeting. If you, if you know, you know. But, um, like, just thinking about these times that, like, they were here, and it's, what, maybe three, four years removed from, like, that, because obviously the beach had burnt down, which we've already kind of discussed. Uh, obviously the stuff that's happened the last couple of years, we haven't been able to meet up as much as we probably would have liked to. <clears throat> but we're here now. We're, uh, we're in December. We're nearly at Christmas, Northeast Corner Christmas Night Inn, this is going to be called. El Crimbo, yes. for our Spanish viewers. <laughs> <laughs> if we have any, I don't know. I don't think we do. <laughs> well, we do now. Well, in the future, they might look back and go like, Maybe. I wonder if the Northeast Corner had a Christmas uh, episode. To, to be fair, we probably need subtitles anyway. Yeah. For anybody oh, but YouTube I've... provide that. Oh, excellent. Yes. So, uh, we're, we're covered on that front. Oh, sweet. We're inclusive, man. Told you. Anyway, I'm not to hear us in Spanish, though. <laughs> I've been really way funny. It's not even for the Spanish years, Benny. It's just <laughs> us, like, taking the piss out of ourselves. Sorry, Spain. I love you. I've only been to you once, but I don't know. I went to Portugal and all. Same thing. <laughs> I'm not very well travelled. <laughs> you see my son, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> Got a chef's Dan. Yeah. <laughs> so we're. Two year anniversary as well, was probably the last time that we were all kind of met up like this for a, a social gathering. Oh, uh, me, me and Paul on the couch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's let's talk a bit about the... Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> let's delve into the stories and chronicles of the North East Corner co-hosts at Nethy Bridge Hotel. <laughs> at Nethy Bridge. Well... So we start with the car journey. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing was a journey. <laughs> it was. It was, a, it was a, a fucking good one. <laughs> that was a great one. Getting spell, I believe. My dog was. A oh my gosh! Many <laughs> mad dogs. Many of my dogs. See, when you've got the bride <laughs> in a room that is the big enough to fit her bloody dress and spinning around, tanning a bottle of mad dog, you know you're at the right wedding. <laughs> <laughs> we we were invited to the wedding. Let's just oh, yeah, put this yeah. in context. Oh, but did they just turn up? <laughs> got got a couple of rooms and hmm. <laughs> I wonder what weddings are going on about here. <laughs> We've got my dog. Just dancing a bit. You're at a wed you're at a wedding. Aye, my dog. <laughs> I don't suppose do you have ciders in there. I certainly I'm going do. to help I'll, myself. Of the cloudy one. variety. Oh yes, apple cloudy apple yes, ciders. My dad be that. Oh. I don't even know strong wood do. They do, and it's it's fucking fantastic. Very refreshing. Good health, gentlemen. Yes. Oh, hmm. I'll just say health. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, back to Nappy Bridge. So we, you know, I remember being picked up from here. Y you were, you two were in the car. We all had suits. We all yes. put them in the back, and we're like, right. Oh, no, I had my kilt. I I would like the suit jacket and the top hat, which is making yeah. an appearance on the next episode. Well, the next it two episodes. Is, and I may or may not have bought a oh. item to go with the top hat. Mm. Stay tuned to find out, even though I just yeah. whispered it into the mic. Anyway, uh, I can cut that out. But uh, <laughs> so 
We were you started drinking my dog in the back of the car as we were dri- driving through. I remember you just your head just popped through from the back seat in Forest and was like, "Anyone want a bit of my dog?" <laughs> That's it, he just popped through. Anybody for a slice of my dog? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> why is that not an hard work? <laughs> it could be. We could be the ones doing it. Why you get hard works for like Bacardi and gin and Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> why is I no hard works for a lightly fortified wine? Especially when it's so important to make them through sure things are legal these days. Exactly. And some cheese. And some cheese. Yeah, yeah cheese and Morgan. And, and to be fair, in Scott's car there was probably definitely cheese because of all the, the fart. No, of all the of all the <laughs> stuff that we seen in that boot of yours one day when we went out that road uh, trip and he ended up finding a chips cheese and mayo in your boot. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Just I to know, clarify, the, the that was a different seat. car. <laughs> In the back seat. What the fuck have I just sat on? So, oh no, everyone's gonna think I've shit my pants. <laughs> it's kind of it. We're really stuck to my bum cheek. <laughs> so we're we're going through, we're going through Nethy Bridge, right? Um, oh, it was snowing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was snowing really well. If anyone has ever played the video game Mafia Two. You'll be familiar with the the level where Vito, oh. Joe, and Eddie go to a cat house after he gets out of jail, and Eddie gets steaming, and they've got to like dump someone and all this kind of stuff. And it felt obviously we didn't have a body in the back of the car, like we're not mafia and stuff like that. We were just well, it's gonna lie and yeah, two bottles of mud. I was goosed. <laughs> and I was it the night before. I was. Still- St- Wired to a national grid. Nethy <laughs> <laughs> Bridge is close to like the Cairngorms National Park. Is that what it's called? Cairngorms Aye. Park? Mm. Aye. So up the arse end of the A9. Is it? Oh, is it arse end of A9? Great, you can turn off at Granton. Aye, you turn, aye, you turn off at Granton because we missed the turning twice. No, we didn't. We just made more of an adventure. That was what it is. Extended <laughs> journey. It's, it's like we did the other night. We yeah, made more of an adventure. Yeah, we went to pick up your brother from a originally planned Dice train station, which yes. then had to be altered to a random garage in, in the outskirts yeah. of Aberdeen. Yes, <laughs> yes, sounds good. Shit went sideways real quick. Yeah, <laughs> like it always does. <laughs> yeah. So on our way in Ethy Bridge, starts snowing. So we're like, you only get one moment in life like this. You see an open goal, you got a score right. Put on Dean Martin's Return to Me and made it look like it was Mafia 2. Yes. We really should have put the suits on right there. (laughs) Yeah, I know, right? We should have, even when you were driving, just like, oh, we die, we die. See, the Mafia 2 reference, is it the first Mafia or the second Mafia? You have to do that fucking level with the... Racing car. Yes. And it's really hard to control. Yes. It was was quite heavily snowing and there was a few... I don't know, went from one side of the car to the other. I should have been wearing a seatbelt, but to be <laughs> fair, I was classed as a child at that point. Did you, I, I'm presuming children. I was in a car seat. It was a seat in a car. Cheese and wine. Car seat. Cheese and wine. Wine. <laughs> Which he wasn't drinking. But even if he was, it didn't happen. Oh, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't drinking cheese. No, I wasn't eating cheese. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we were meant to go to a place called the Happy Haggis, which was like a kind of. Burger diner type place? Like a chippy. Aye. But it was like a sit-in place, wasn't it? And yeah, then... Fancy chippy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we missed the turn-off for Nethy Bridge because the original plan was go Nethy Bridge, drop stuff out, then go Happy Haggis and then go back and enjoy festivities and wait for a wedding and all that the next day. <laughs> but then we missed the turn-off for Nethy Bridge twice and we're like, right, okay. Adventure. Let's just go Happy Haggis. And then I think did we not miss the turn off for that, or we couldn't no, no, find we found it? Another oh, we found another turn off. We're like, right, actually, no. Do you know what the famous last words of? Do you know what we can just go to Happy Haggis another time, right before a global pandemic started and stopped the world from like moving for like yes. two years. Have any of us? Oh, I'm presuming you have. Oh, have I heard yeah. you recommended it, but I've never went to Happy Haggis. No, nope, we like haven't. We, we're Haggis. still waiting to go to Happy Haggis. We could go right after that this. No, I'm next, joking. <laughs> that can be the next adventure. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> can you trust me, any brother? <laughs> oh, I trust you. I trust you fully. But two clutches and two timing belts and what? Thirty thousand miles? No, I do not, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's okay, I've got an engine management light on at the moment. It's a dog, they're just, it's Christmas. That's what it is, the Christmas, it's the Christmas decorations in the dark. The dark supposed to be a, what, up like a bloody Christmas tree this time of year. Because mine certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> right, he just turned the music up. <laughs> Turn Mariah Carey up. <laughs> she can just screech out in the water. <laughs> yeah, so oh. we end up getting to Nethy Bridge, and let's just say we spent a minute in the bar, and when I say a minute, probably about six hours. <laughs> oh, bad food. We had food, yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, and we scamp it. Did we play a game of pool? There was a pool table. We played many games of pool. And then we sat at the bar, and then there was that guy that said, Oh, like I've been to Los Angeles. Do you remember that? The guy outside? The motorbike yeah. guy. Yeah, the motorbike guy. Yeah, yeah. He was awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, he yeah. was class. Respect. If you are listening or viewing, get in touch, my dude. <laughs> Come you, on. Yeah, you, you were a party and a half. Uh, oh. And this is where Mad Dog came in because we were like, Right, okay, the bar's closing. But, you know, we were at that point of drinking where we were like, nah, it's not over yet. Oh, we went in the night before, didn't we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, we'll get up for the wedding of that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we went up to, because you used to had a room. Yes. And I had a room because there was no triple room. So I was like, you your know, room is definitely nicer than ours. Well, yes. it, your your room. Well, to be fair, it was a single room. Ours was full of all our shit. <laughs> <laughs> Many <laughs> bottles of mud dog. Well, they were full to start with. They were yes. The radiator. So we were in your room, and we were playing. What game did playing you bring? Cards, cards against cards. money? No, we were just no. playing cards. Just normal yeah. cards. I mean, there was Mad Dog, and we must have went through about two bottles. Paul had must have brought about. <laughs> I was. It was five. Right, five in total. No. Well, technically seven. Okay, so <laughs> seven. He's a drunk two in the motor on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> I brought five for the event itself. Yes. So well, we, just we, in we, case anybody else and I think, I think we did. went through two of them whilst playing cards. Now, I then was like, right, okay, it's now three in the morning. Probably the last chance. So then you continued playing cards because I could yes. hear you from my room playing cards and giggling away and stuff oh, like that. And I was oh, like, oh, God. I did it up early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, I got a text off of Scott saying, breakfast is soon. You're coming down for a fag and we'll get breakfast. And I was like, all right, cool. Did I come down for breakfast with you? No. No. No, you came to later. I just got up and went upstairs. I watched we sat on a big <laughs> fucking table myself <laughs> went into the... Buffett because uh, that's how it's spelled because what happened was <laughs> he came out of the room but he forgot to bring the keys and you were KO'd in the room so he couldn't get back into your room so he had to come to my room for like two hours until you got <laughs> I remember and you came down and had scrambled eggs that was it that was all you ate that, was scrambled all eggs all I ate was right. <laughs> we were going for a fight everybody was looking at me like I was a complete weirdo <laughs> up to the Buffett <laughs> a buffet if you fancy oh. <laughs> this is a wee plate and just Cop my scoops of fucking scrambled eggs, so I did them up off. And I thought that we were drinking with the night before, just kind of looking at me going, good choice. <laughs> I put the Duncan, just scrambled eggs. I put the Duncan the night before. I was out, have you seen Forrest Gump? Yes. Yes, it was like Forrest Gump, yes. that bit within the hospital, the military. Uh, I would have been Lieutenant Dan and Paul would have been Forrest, Forrest. Gump. I'm trying to sleep at about four in the morning and he keeps going, Scott, Scott, Mad Dog, Mad Dog, Scott, Mad Dog. If, if you're not at a fancy do, and you're not, <laughs> if you get your left leg hanging out the bed, just in case the monster's what I get you, so they can fucking have me. <laughs> um, your right hand should have a bottle of Mad Dog in it. Just so when the monster does eventually snap you under the bed you've got a peace offering <laughs> <laughs> or, or to get them steaming so you can plan your escape well you've only got one leg so you just have to hop away <laughs> hop on son it, it was the way we passed your room on the way down for a fag and he pushed the door open and was like Paul you come over breakfast, and the smell of my dog that hit me from that room was something <laughs> rotten. My dog and fire. I, I didn't. I didn't see anyone. I didn't even see anyone in the bed. I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't presume that was my. Yeah. I, I, I used one of my alarm clock. I was like, oh. We're like, we'll leave him be for now. <laughs> then I went for a shower, and that that radiator in our room in the bathroom. Oh, I, 
I've, I've still got. Oh, did you burn your arse? I, I've, I've still yeah, got same. two burn marks on my bum cheek. <laughs> no, did I? You thought the first time? Oh, that's a bit hot. I won't. No, I didn't intentionally put my bum on it. Thinking, <laughs> oh, I saw it's really going to get dip your finger in things. Oh, he's, just, yeah. he's just put your bum cheek on it. Is this? Oh, is that a hot? <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't know the radiator was hot. It's a bit of dry, man. Self. <laughs> and to be fair, you weren't the biggest problem of the days. It turned out. As the dark. Is that a problem? No, that's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, thanks. Funk for that. <laughs> the dark horse himself, Wee Jack Duncan, oh. becoming the biggest pain of the arse <laughs> day because he was howled at like half eleven in the morning. Bye. Say, Crookie, Jack, me. At the dinner table. <laughs> Jack kept put his hand up my kilt and I was like, we could stop that. <laughs> I was like, you bloody stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you want my sausage? I'll put some fucking plate, I'll give you that in a minute. <laughs> but use your fork. <laughs> We're at a civilised event. <laughs> Recovery of the century, though. Oh. Because you he was in the room, we were in the room with Crookie, yeah. us three, and Jack, and Jack was still, you know, he'd spilt a pint in the hallway. At the reception, and we're like, right, we need to get this dude out of here. Um, and he was still, he's still like acting up. And Krugie was sitting in the corner, like, what the fuck do we do right now? <laughs> he was losing his marbles. He was like, what's going on? He's like, I don't know what to do. You had Jack pinned against the bed, going, you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> then he was, then he wasn't, then we broke it idea. <laughs> just picked him up. He just launched him. Like, no. Go for a fucking cigarette, leave me alone, you silly little goose. <laughs> I don't think that was the word. That's the polite words. Yes. But, yes. And then he did recover as we got to like he did? the the wedding dance reception. Is that, no, is that what it the wedding dance. dance? Wedding dance. No, not the wedding dance, fucking um the reception after the ceremony. Is that what it's called? The reception? I have no idea. The, the the pit the bit where the bride and groom dance and everyone's around and everyone's having a good time in that. Wedding bit, yes. The bit after the, yeah, because obviously me and Scott weren't actually at the ceremony for like when Ross and Charlin oh, all the best. I cried, eh? Did you at the ceremony? Yeah. At the ceremony. Well, you know, Ross is like because, a good mate, man. Yeah, <laughs> they did their own vows and whatnot, and I, oh yeah, I straight up cried <laughs> twice, bastards. <laughs> You sure that wasn't Jack putting his hand back up your kill? <laughs> no, he was no, no, because him and Crookie were goosed well before that. They were fucking sat that well over the other side. I was like, nope, I'm going to enjoy this. I am going to watch one of my best friends get fucking married. <laughs> Two guys that were Ross's side of the family. <laughs> oh, but your side, that bastard and hoose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sat like, oh. I'm joking, but I didn't have the mad dog between my legs. But I did have some of my hip flask. <laughs> <laughs> because, aye. And then I think we all kind of got hit by the fresh air sni- sniper. Oh, I oh. ended up, I don't know how I got to my room, but I ended up, <laughs> I, ended up I hadn't used the cover, so I was absolutely freezing. You should have been hutching. I was just in my boxer shorts waking up to the news that... Uh, Boris Johnson won a majority in the election. I was like, this is some kind of nightmare, isn't it? It's like, this This isn't real life. That's silly little scarecrow. This, un- <laughs> this unmade bed with a head injury hasn't got control of the country, has he? <laughs> to be fair, I would go for a fight with Boris Johnson. Because I think it would be I fucking hilarious. You could go any time as well. Uh, well <laughs> no, no. Cheese and wine. Cheese and wine. wine. You can't have a pint. You'd probably slap him with a block of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but then introduce him to some good wine. <laughs> Some sophistication yes. in his life, but yeah. So we all we were all. You were saying you were stopping drinking at eleven. That didn't happen. Ten, ten. <clears throat> well, it didn't happen anyway. No, I stopped drinking for the new one. Yes, and then you went back to drinking Jaeger bombs. Cannot, you cannot refuse to bring no, a Jaeger bomb, can you? I'm not. I'm and then I went not. back on it. And then we woke up in the morning. You had contracted the lurg, and then dropped my. You rolling contracted pick. a level nine hangover. <laughs> 
<laughs> which was contagious and gave to me, and also dropped my fucking roll of papers in the puddle. And a level seven grump. <laughs> yeah, because we were wanting to like go home at twelve, and you were like, "Right, I'm not sure if I've like stopped drinking." You, know, long enough. you do know we were booked in till three. Uh. We did that game. Well, up. I was told it was eleven. Because remember, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. did you fucking know? We were booked in till three. Wow. Were we though? I swear yeah. it said 11. Everybody from the wedding party mm. was booked in till 3. Oh well, my so bad I guys. I could have went down and had a pint. Oh yeah, you were you <laughs> were having a, a you were in a bit of a grump because Scott was like, no pints. <laughs> no pint, you're, you're all getting in my car. Then, <laughs> then I went out to the side, well, I went for a flag and then I was sick. <laughs> then, we, <laughs> then we went for pancakes. We did. Aye. <laughs> And then we we, we, we casually we a pancake. Got, no, fuck us noise. We casually went up to room two two five. We'll go into the story about room two two five in a second. Jack and Crookie in the room two two five. Well, we'll go for the PC version yeah. of room two two five. We don't want to be outing anyone for well, anything. It's Christmas, winter wonderland. Yes, <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> So Jack and Crookie were in that room. Fucking great. Even the manager of the hotel was in. <laughs> there was like forty people in that room. There was like no social distancing going. Sure, this was, was pre- this was before COVID. And our wedding dress is spinning around, telling her about with a fucking mad dog and fine. What a fucking night. <laughs> what, what what a few days that was amazing oh well, crazy I highly recommend Nefford Briggs but don't do it like we did it <laughs> because we're just the only ones it. entitled to do it like yeah. we did it just go and enjoy it it's yeah. such a nice place eh? apparently I'd been phoning my mum all night as well asking if the cat was still <laughs> I don't know why I'd done that I can't remember now. Oh, no. yeah I don't know alcohol makes you weird did it we've had some yeah. good nights yeah and we've had some great nights <laughs> used to yeah. used to push the beds together. Oh, you know, we pushed the bed. You know, we pushed the beds together at the end. But left a little note. Left <laughs> a little note as well. Because I was like, oh, that would be hilarious if you push the beds together and confuse them like fuck as to what's happened. We'd, we'd actually opened the duvets in such a way as well. <laughs> yes, I, I, I do believe. Sorry. I can't remember the name of the hotel. Neffy Bridge Hotel. Sorry, Neffy Bridge Hotel. I may or may not have thrown a member on the, <laughs> um, <laughs> the conversation on the window before we left. But and the mirrors. Le- I've left a few. And a note. <laughs> yes, I left. And one on Jack's car. And one on Jack's car. <laughs> one in the window in the bar. Yes. <laughs> Neffy Bridge was band the it. That was the time every, everybody was together. Yeah. That have, through all the years we have been sat in my motor throwing cocks on the inside <coughs> of my Wendy's. You just had enough. <laughs> uh, I was like, Ooh, this is time. <laughs> Every time you finish this it. This kind of Where's that? Ooh, who's that? Member man. <laughs> <laughs> throwing Johnsons everywhere. <laughs> Johnson. No, Johnson member. Member Johnson. A member Boris. Johnson. A Boris. For the interference this happens where people go past and you can hear them on the mics and blah 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 blah. Anyway, yeah. so we're back to Neffy Bridge. We've always been saying we're meaning to go back, but obviously the whole pandemic. But like it's I think it's because it symbolizes the last time that we had a really good kind of group time was, together. Everybody was together. Yeah. Like I right. look at the photo because I think it's still my profile photo on Facebook of us all lined up. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I am absolutely high on that. <laughs> <laughs> if Ross has got my top hat on <laughs> I'm just gonna, gonna buckle it at the end looking like a I don't know a buckle person I suppose I mean we've all seen each other since but we've never uh, been together at the same time yeah. so it was the last reminiscence of the old world we are the, <laughs> the <new> old country <laughs> we are we are the new new bible deal with it, Jesus <laughs> sorry John Wick don't come and get me <laughs> <laughs> and then we went up at 11 which we thought was checkout time obviously I've messed up there I apologise but it was two years ago let it go um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we went up at 11 what we thought was checkout time we're like are Crookie and Jack even ready yet 
opened the door to about 80 beer bottles around the room oh. <laughs> in a ranger's top just going I feel like a bag of dicks <laughs> <laughs> bottle of dogs <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're like you've got to get out of here in the next 10 minutes he's like oh for fuck's sake <laughs> they didn't even clean up they just went and got back across the road I thought I cleaned up well tried to clean up kind of I thought that I came and bugged you because I left my key in their fucking room. Um, <coughs> die. That was a hail heap of. I wouldn't say Charpedori. Charpedori. Oh, why is it a game they call it knock a door and run away? I'm surprised Ryan slept that night because all you did was fucking knocking on doors. Oh, I was out for the that? count. And then yeah. and then you were like, let's go get breakfast. And I cat's out the bag now at this point, <laughs> isn't it? Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fiddle sticks. <laughs> oh. One cat and look back. Don't put cats in bag. People, <laughs> they just end up on Coronation Street. Or I, don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I don't watch the soaps. <laughs> oh, the soap I watch is when I'm in the shower. <laughs> Sometimes I slap some cracks in the joy. Oh, fiddles! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm done. But so anyway, there's I, nobody there. You asked for my rolling papers. I gave you the rolling papers, which you then dropped into the puddle. You yes. did reimburse me with rolling papers, but you also reimbursed me with a lurg, which I don't appreciate. And a lift home. Yeah, true. But there was a very interesting lift home because he was mad at you for not letting him have a pint. You were mad at him for wanting a pint before getting in your car. You were mad at me for asking if we go earlier. And we were all kind of like <laughs> in huffs with each other. <laughs> oh, I it was it or lower? We stopped for a. Oh the yeah, the public break. toilets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we had, then I had a well, me and you had a, a cigaretto. Yep. I went for a pee. If you could rate public toilets <laughs> out of one to five, I'd give that a stern three. <laughs> <laughs> it was reasonably warmer in there than it was outside. Therefore, three. Oh sorry. Three and a half. <laughs> three and a half. <laughs> three, three and a half. I've done it now. <laughs> three and a half. <laughs> and then I, was, I remember as we were going through Elgin, Scott was like, "Should we go through Elgin or around Elgin?" And then I think we end, did we end up going around Elgin. Uh, no, yeah. came outside the bucket or they like, don't be nervous, nervous, Scott. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and then we came back to normal life, and I think we had to kind of calm down for a couple of days because it was like. We'd just been on another planet for about 72 hours of oh, it was constant drinking, it? great breakfast, and now it's like, oh, well, cereal for breakfast, I guess. About a month later, we got locked down. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That was like two weeks before it got discovered. How mad is that? When we were having a good time, that thing was just going, oh, wait until up three months until dancing. everyone's goosed. Up all dancing, mm. having fun, and I um Corona. Snap upon us. Yes, and if history is repeating itself with the Omicron. Transformer. Yes. The, the Transformer variant. <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck it up. Why can I not remember that? It's, it's good. Con. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, though, because obviously, as we've seen, this seems to be less dangerous and last year it seemed to be less dangerous too because if you have cheese and wine on you, you can live your yeah. life. You can do what you want. Are they vampires? Is it garlic cheese? <laughs> garlic wine? I don't know. <laughs> well, it could be. It's in number 10. <laughs> <laughs> Might be vampires. Do you know vampires what? Do you, think, see when, do you think when they had that Christmas party at Downing Street, do you think they took the number 10 off and just put the number 225 on. <laughs> <laughs> just swapped the numbers about, oh no, there's a bit of noise coming. <laughs> just swapped the numbers. It was a big, big Boris cutting a bit. What do you think? I just swapped the numbers around, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I, 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 fiddlesticks, all crumbled bums. And, mm -hmm. What do you things, think? Oh, swapping numbers. What do you think a Downing <laughs> Street Christmas party is like? Because I just imagine it being one of the most boring things in the I, world. I, I disagree. It's, it's either that or it's a massive fucking orgy. <laughs> See, I disagree with that as Matt well. Matt Hancock belting about with that forehead. <laughs> I, I think it is. He could slip into it and... <laughs> Including being the fucking health secretary. <laughs> exactly, because he's clean and looped. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more like a winter wonderland, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh. there's been evidence <laughs> of that, is there not? Yes. Yeah. 
Well, that's <laughs> both, but he borrows his hair, so I was cutting a bit like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Aye. Hat off viewers for the first time. Let the hair breathe. Aye, just, aye. Cutting a bit was... Oh, damn it. Theresa May <laughs> keeps, the, keeps the rest of my hair nice and smooth. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> got it, they are the... Aye. Hat back on. Fuck it. Tried to make a joke, failed. <laughs> <laughs> Just like out in a t shirt. <laughs> oh, how many t shirts have we came up with this year from doing this? Oh, also, the chap, the hat's realizing his final form on the Christmas episode top hat, monocle, Christmas jumper. <gasps> what? You wanted it to be a surprise? Yeah, well, uh, yes, I'm good wearing a monocle. <laughs> However, how am I going to do it? I guess that can be one of the topics of the day. Can, I, figure... se- can I self-tape it to my normal glasses? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We'll try that. I'm going to look at the picture for the mighty boosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no field in injury. Julian Barrett, I'm going to ruin this. <laughs> Come on in, me boy. <laughs> you see you through by. So Ray Peeper. So our eels is a song. Eels. Eels up inside you. Find an entrance where they can. Eels up inside you. Find an entrance where, entrance where they can. Burn through your mind, through your tongue, through your rain. It's eels. Do, 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 do. Eels. Do, do, do. Hi. I'm I just love, thinking. I love the mighty bush. <laughs> if our listeners in Virginia, which we have three, and one in Ohio are listening right now, they're going to be like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm back, Sunshines. <laughs> sunshines is a... Covers every basis, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's those fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Sunshines. So, yeah. you, you've been wanting to get something off your chest about work. <laughs> You're telling us oh, it's oh. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> so it's Thursday, Thursday night. Oh, yeah. so I'm, I'm in the kitchen. Went up. Helping in the bar. If I could. I just filming up fridges. Why not? I'm not a, a bar person. Not anymore. Because I choose not to be that way because you get Arse pieces. You get a lot of see you next Tuesdays. <laughs> and it was the place I'm working is not long opened. We've got heaps of tailways, there's a games room, pool, a game of stick and ball. Pool. Hi. Yeah. Stick and ball. Stick and ball. Bam. But, aye, plenty of space. But no, there was 100 and, was 120 folk in-ish. Not enough space. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> the, but the new, well, every telly, every TV was new. But this particular telly was, what, 85 inch. So that must cost the small fortune. Seven and a half grand. <laughs> Aye. Aye, no, that's, what, that's what my boss said. Never said her name <laughs> Aye. So, I don't know, tell you what, fights are breaking out, am I not? Which is the dames that were in decorating the place the day before, <laughs> they were very nice. They were. They were lovely. They were Christmas songs on me and Christmas jumpers, thinking this is going to be a nice <laughs> fucking do. <laughs> oh, how wrong that <laughs> me. Oh, <laughs> shit went sideways immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> it's. Uh, I'm. Hi. So. It's about health and start from stocking the fridges and whatnot. Out the kitchens. I did a bit of food orders on. Um, oh, Stacy, there, so my head chef. She was helping on the bar. She was at you stay in the kitchen. Um, so I did. 
notifications are always shut. Ooh. Why does that happen? Then everything just went fucking sideways. Uh, like immediately. And then the police were involved. I say, police. Um, I, police. Which one of I had to say move. I had to escort a couple of steps to the right <laughs> as I went to help. Put out a fire. <laughs> Put out a fight. <laughs> Not a fire. Put out a fight. <laughs> but, but I... But, well, that was, that was a fucking good laugh. <laughs> but and but you, apart from the telly. Yes. <laughs> which that, got destroyed by a mock member, was you, you a call mock that member. A sex head. <laughs> it's one of the ones you stick on in the shower if you're into that. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's going to need a slice of lube. <laughs> because that fucker was huge. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what they done was, I think, but to be fair, smashed a telly with a... <laughs> a mock <laughs> member. <laughs> it is hilarious. How but, did it even happen? Did, did the person mean to do it? I just fucking watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect shot, by the way. Because there's a suction cup on it. <laughs> Presumably there's my moisture on them. <laughs> Biggest tail in the world. <laughs> <laughs> right in the top left corner. It's just died. This mock oh, cock. Oh, like <laughs> the cracks across. <laughs> <laughs> I just had the, all the LEDs or whatever and the tail going. <laughs> I said, well, should I? First thing I wanted to shout was, should they use Louvre, bud? I <laughs> 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 just sounds. So, so did this cause a fight to break out, or was that no, before? No, 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 that, right. that was before the fight. <laughs> so they were still allowed to be there, like, oh yeah, that's fine. Well, no, that's no, just an 85-inch no, tail, it costs no. seven and a half grand. I don't know, but oh, it was just absolutely an utter chaos. <laughs> and do I know what? Fucking loved it. <laughs> did you not say that like, one of the authorities was trying to take a statement as fights were going on yes. in the background? I said, why, why should the bar staff and the kitchen staff have to... Be, Fucking throwing folk out the way to get to another member of bar staff that's starting out a fight. <laughs> of all these, I'm not going to say gentlemen, all these fools are just knocking the shit at each other. Fuck a calf and bang, bang you. Boom. All the. Um, <laughs> I just making sure I stole my bloody chef clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I said, can I do that? <laughs> well, I've done it now. Bang! <laughs> and yes. <laughs> it happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, have you ever met a non angry chef? No. No, apart well, uh, Crookie's yeah. more an- anxious rather than angry, I would no, say. No, no, he's, he's an angry little goose. I've seen you shout at a fish that fell on the floor. <laughs> yes. I'm not angry now, so. No. No. Is it when I left or <laughs> Perhaps. Scott. Because you were my favourite person to work with. I fucking hate you. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's, it's, that work colleague. Yours. I love working with you. Hey, Jesus Christ, go away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's the day I got you to walk out in five minutes. You did. You minutes. made me walk out of that fucking beach bar kitchen. How how did this happen? I've never well, heard uh, this story. I went up to him. I just walked into Wildcat. I just went, Paul. I, I was rough as fuck. <laughs> yeah, he was rough. Man. Went, Paul, a giraffe, a monkey, and a bird race up a coconut tree. Who gets the banana first? And he goes, giraffe. And I went, no. It's, 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 it's <laughs> going up a coconut tree. And he just went, fuck this. Walked out. <laughs> I said, nope, I'm going for a fag. Out to my, my office. I called it. <laughs> oh, the stairs the outside. Escape. Yeah, I remember that. Terrible place to have your smoking office. Yeah. The fire escape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to go up to it. Mind you, well, if you're in the building, you could go out it. Yeah, because there's steps. that door. At the, yeah. um, mm. Do you remember the, the guy, we won't mention his name because obviously, whatever, but um, the guy that uh, refused to give it a cash box. Do you remember the guy that worked at the beach who did that? Yes. Yes. 
He also used to write steak when someone ordered steak. No kind of inclination of medium rare or well done or whatever. Is it's this well the done. fine gentleman that forgot my order? No, oh, I forgot my order. No, forgot I my cash. Something yeah. else. He he also did he not also put like a nine thousand pound charge <laughs> that was meant to be ninety and it went through and all the people came back and were like demanding the money back. You think one's in the army, one is not. It's one that is not. <laughs> one that's not. Yeah. Yes. He is a silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> I remember because uh, like I went up and. Uh, it was kind of confusing because we would drink bottles of Stella, yeah. but Mikey and someone else that was with him wanted pints. So I was like, can I get two pints of Stella, two bottles of Stella, right? Which is a bit of a kind of awkward order anyway, but okay. surely, well, yeah, well, you know, because people yeah. would be like, why not just have pints pint more? But he brought four pints of Stella back, right? Which is like, okay, fair enough. It's all Stella. So, but I'd said £30 cash back. And then... Business uh, when shit get wild. Well... <laughs> I remember, uh, I remember he came back <clears throat> and he uh, I paid my card and that and uh, he was like uh, there you go and I was like uh, cash back and the guy was like you didn't ask for it and he was like literally asked like three times shouted it across the bar so you would hear me and then there was like not a big commotion but I was like arguing about how I should have got cash back and lugs of all people then ended up kind of negotiating uh, a middle ground over a £20 cash back instead of 30 which I don't know why there was a an effort need to give me my £30 cash back. I'll take a tenner for you then, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> you say, oh, can I get £30 cash back? Yes, pop it through. Cash back. Hi, <laughs> as some kind of like, sense. some kind of like agent fee or something like that. <laughs> yes. You mind when the Stella bottles used to do the promotion about saving like... Ah, yeah. The water, the water yeah. Like, Nambia and whatnot and... Brazil, I think was one. Brazil. We we have saved Brazil. Brazil, yes. Single-handedly by have drinking. Have had a tsunami yet? No, no, we drank far too much. <laughs> I think we took like we're not. I remember the good old days of the beacher where we would go to house parties after the beacher, and you would just nip down the cellar, <laughs> create yeah, a Stella. I, I didn't just nip down; it was paid for, yeah, full or replaced the next day. Well, I'll just say the next day I was not fit to drive the next day. <laughs> the day after, yeah, I would nip up to Booker's and create a Stella. Uh, Create a style or replace it. All whatever you do, always replace it. Mm-hmm. Which you did. Simon's office, create a style. Back Simon's office, mm-hmm. replace create a style. Yes. Right. Unless you're Simon. Unless you're Simon, yes. In which case, you just throw ice cubes at his head, which you used to do on a constant basis. Mm. <laughs> did you? <laughs> when think he was I down did. in the I cellar. Did. Oh yes, <laughs> I did. My <laughs> cellar door was a fucking it's horrible. 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 See, it was all right when the hatch was on it. Yeah. See where it was now? Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> it was... Uh, Why'd the catch come off? Who, who broke the hatch? I have no idea. Because, uh, ironically, on the... I said the lid. The lid of the cellar. <laughs> the hatch. He said, ooh, watch your heat. And there was a wee drawing, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. But, uh, <laughs> then it was gone. Then they the watch their heat. You know, <laughs> because they couldn't, because they were taking the fastest elevator they've ever seen in their life. Yes, yeah, so it was it zeroed down in about three point, no, not even three point three seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a bum, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, DDB, I missed that place. Yeah, it was so shit bad. Much, huh? But when Lugs is coming on for the beach bar, good, bad, and the ugly, I'm thinking February or when is it you're taking your hiatus? March, did you say? Uh, I think in, I can arse end of February. All right, well, that's when I... So that's when I'll be my, available as well. The work I'm going, well, we're going back to... Yes. And it's starting to... Like, they're two weeks behind on the build. Mm-hmm. So I think it'll be March, <laughs> April. But no, I'm taking... I'm taking March off. Well, that's when we'll do Beach Bar, Good, Bad and the Ugly. Yeah. Some of the finest regulars of the beach bar man has ever known. And we could do it on a Monday, so we could do what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Insane you know joke. What, Scott, I have used that saying. Scott, to myself here. I thought it was the coffee I needed. 
<laughs> and might as well be at this point. I still use it. <laughs> Do what I want to. <laughs> Shit, many times I've used that. And, well, it was like you asked me to use it. It was because one of the the people that worked there, we, we won't mention their name. I um, know. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to protect the innocent and the guilty and all that. But um, cheese and wine. Yeah, cheese and wine. <laughs> uh, Scott was coming through back and forth. I don't know. It was like orders or something. And then someone said, "Get back on the bar." And he just kind of like flamboyantly went from through the bar to the lo- uh, the hall, saying, "Do what I went." <laughs> and that was just what happened on every Monday from there. <laughs> do you remember the do you remember the bar stool cocktail guy? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. What a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> to give context to this, this person was asked to get a cocktail shaker. Am I saying that correctly? Which we also cur- call the urn of where people that were sacked from the beach or their souls would end up in the urn. It is an urn. It is the urn. Well yeah. to get the urn. I, see when I go. Never mind come up on the bits and pit put me in bins and let the council do with me. No, get me in a wee arm. <laughs> Sugar me a bit. Just have fun, have a shot. I wouldn't uh, advise it. And the person that was instructed to get said urn slash cocktail shaker must have, <laughs> did not know what he was looking for and came back with a bar stool. <laughs> the same one that liked to rock another red for yes. Skyrim. <laughs> and uh, I remember the day as well when uh, you were getting this person to do everything and then he stopped volunteering and to which point you gave the other person a 15 minute fag break or something like that just to wind him up even further <laughs> <laughs> well fit <laughs> oh <laughs> aye that wasn't a me by the way <laughs> <laughs> but really the person that they are talking about is uh, I'm not going to say a friend no. <laughs> Out of the many right. people that you've worked with at the beach, I can say that that person is quite far down the table with the people that you've gotten on with. I got on with everybody. Apart from that person? Apart from that. <laughs> so he was bottom then. Oh, everything uh, was No, I got on with everybody, I think. I'd say, I'd say Opti got along at Wildtail, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so we were a bit... <laughs> it was stre- stressful moments. Yeah, I said, not really in my part. But. Way, but <laughs> no, no, you. Bye. <laughs> That's rude to point. <laughs> now you Call look like you're about to do a hit on him. <laughs> Fucking bye. A few times I was. <laughs> do you remember uh, when the the barrel uh, goose that one time and remember Graham Kenny and you were working at the bar and uh, Graham was like. We find you a new role, but I also remember the time that you totally owned Graham when uh, he said, "Seize a pint of Heverly," and you said to him, "I think you'll find Graham. That is, may I have a pint of Heverly, please?" Just that absolute savage, just his body work, just <laughs> like oh. Sh- that's what you get for taking my lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> lottery ticket's another story. Oh, fuck. I, I, no, like, no, 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 I'm definitely, because I'm going to go on a fucking proper rant. Uh. No, <laughs> different time. I think you should go in the rant. Nah. No, because... I've got a couple minutes left. Nah. <laughs> Well, the lottery mm-hmm. ticket. Tell the story about the lottery ticket. Lottery I think we've mentioned ticket. it before, but from the from the was, horse's was, mouth. Was it was it a Friday? <laughs> it was a beach of Friday. I, I after the wildcat the other year, I stopped wildcat the full Friday night, and I finished at nine o'clock. And I sometimes go to the shop, and sometimes Graham would go to the shop. But this day, Graham was going to the shop, so he goes, "Do you want anything back?" I said, "I get my lottery ticket." So. Graham did, he, he got my lottery ticket and then I looked at the side of it and he drew his Fuck name and address and the back of the lottery ticket so if I won... And in case you won, him. he Aye. would be he would be <laughs> the benefactor of the money. to me in cricket. <laughs> and I, I just, I... But I didn't know. But I, think, no, I never won the lottery. Then. No. I, was, I mean, it's dirty as fuck, but it's also evil genius, right? It, Imagine you like... evil genius. <laughs> he is a drag. He's human. Well, to be fair, though, I suppose well, fair, if he had won your lottery ticket, he might have had the right to cash it in after, you know, the melting of the old uh, automobile <laughs> signed in the, well, the establishment. But we won't go there. We shan't. <laughs> We've covered that enough. We shan't, we can't, and we won't. 
Until Beach Bar, Good and Bag and Ugly, that can be the <laughs> ugly. <laughs> That's going to be brutal. <laughs> I was genuinely going to be brutal. Yeah. Yeah, God. We've ended up talking about Neffy Bridge, The Beecher, Nicolas Cage's Good But Horrible Films. What's up? Our... I'm sorry, I'm trying to utter brain fart. Did that yesterday. Brain oh, sorry, no, place. today. Actually, it worked. Right so, now? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, but no, I'm just remembering another brain fart, if that makes sense. Stick it up. A dude's order. Oh, it's been a long time since I've been a waiter. A waiter? A chef? I don't know, then I just had to be a little bit of a meltdown. I was like, oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, boo. A meltdown. I don't know. I'm a bit taken all those good ones when I used to... People used to do the well done steaks of what did I used to, what did I used to write down in the bit of paper? Leather. <laughs> <laughs> like <Really>? blacksmith. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, the blacksmith special, yes. please. <laughs> yes. Blacksmith's oh. leather was please. Yes. <laughs> and you yeah. st- Stop writing that. <laughs> well, see, I knew what you meant. No, they fucking did. It's funny. I liked your tickets. My tickets were great. They were they were fun. They were funny. I understood them. Nobody else did. But it was good fun. My best and worst of all time. Always. <laughs> yes. Anyway, chaps. Thank you for your presence for this hour. Everyone at home, stay safe. Make sure you have cheese and wine all you at all times. Yeah. Keep yourself safe. And we'll be seat. back. Scott, thank you for coming on to be Welcome a guest co host. Chat with a hat. We will see the final form on the next two episodes. I can't believe we've been talking about these two episodes, these next two ones, for six months. Yeah, shave it. And we're finally here. What, the beard? Yeah. And I mean, that is totally up to you. You are the character, you are the persona of the chap with the hat. Oh, if you do a World War One mustache. You will get the biggest high five. <gasps> See, I was not a point. I was gonna. What if you like take some off the beard and stick it on the stash? <laughs> See, no, but this is another thing I was gonna bring up. I cut my, I cut my big curly off <gasps> because I was choking on it. In my seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, we don't not, want any health and safety no, issues here at the no, northeast corner. No, I said, well, that's not going to kill me. Many things have tried. So we're back with Christmas night in, and then a week after that, Sesh Cast, which will be filmed on the same day, because we know we've got to enjoy the festivals as well. But for the third last time of the year, if you can take that mic, sir, and look down that camera and do our outro. Stay fresh, cheese bags. This podcast is also available on Google Podcasts, Breaker, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Spotify.